Hey tribe, it's Kia from Heritage 93 and today we're going to go back to the basics, the nail basics of how to paint your nails beautifully. And to help me demonstrate the technique, I'm using a newer brand called Cozy Belly Nail Lacquer and a few polishes from this collection. So without any further ado, I'm going to get started by taking off this old coat and starting fresh with a buff and file. Okay, we gotta pump the brakes a bit because this thumbnail has been flourishing, but there's this tiny bend in it and I don't want any problems, so I'm gonna take that silk wrap and some brush on glue as seen in a previous video and keep my thumbnail on 100%. Next, I'm taking this interestingly blue tinted base coat and painting it on. Now with getting a good coat of polish, I found that three mediumly thin passes plus some blendation passes work as long as the polish is freshly applied. So it pays to work quickly while still taking your time. And no matter what your nail beds look like shape wise, don't be shy or stingy with the polish because it's the easiest way to avoid those streaky thin coats. Okay, so that's one coat. And after it dries, I'll add a second coat of the base using the same one, two, three and blend technique before moving on to the polishes. Okay, first up is Eastern Shore Black. And one of the first things I noticed about this polish just by the bottle alone was how richly black it was. For darker polishes, I'll tap the polish towards the base and drag the pulled polish down towards the free nail as many times as needed while the polish is fresh. This is how you get that smooth, even finish even on the first coat. Also, there's a method to not getting the polish on the edges of your nail and onto your skin, no matter how shaky your hands may be. Either focus your nail painting energy on the inner edges of the side of your nail, or you can twist or curve the nail polish brush away from the edge of your nail too. And after this first coat dries, I'll go back in and add a second layer of the black. And now for the finale, the moment you've all been waiting for, maybe, the flashing lights. And with the one, two, three carefree blendation technique, I gotta say this hollow polish was pretty solid too. So much so that I was good with applying just one coat. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see this hollow polish in full effect in an upcoming video. And lastly, we're gonna bring it on home with that Make Me Strong top coat to further smooth out everything and make that hollow say hello. So yes, that one, two, three blendation technique is how I paint my nails with a minimal mess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it really helpful. Also, let me know what you guys would like to see next. And a special shout out to Cozy Belly for sending the goods this way and for providing a code for the tribe to save some coin. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.